Crypto miner Hive to buy Intel mining chip that can raise hash rate by 95% coming from Coindesk. The miner also signed a new 100 megawatt power deal with Compute nor in North in Texas. Crazy. Hive blockchain agreed to buy Intel's new mining chips. I was like, no, these aren't on, right? <laughs> uh, Intel's new mining chips in a deal, the crypto miner said, could increase its aggregate Bitcoin mining hash rate by as much as 95% from 1.9 exahash per second. Hive said... An original design manufacturer, ODM, will incorporate the Intel chips into an air-cooled Bitcoin mining system. The system is expected to be delivered over a period of 12 months, starting in the second half of 2022. Intel's energy-efficient and high-performance blockchain accelerator is expected to reduce our power consumption over current ASIC miners on the market, Hive President and COO Aiden Killick said in a statement. Intel revealed the details of the first generation of its mining chip, which failed to match current rivals at a semiconductor conference in February. Remember, it was really bad. It was really, really bad. It was like 40 terahash a second at 3,400 watts, which is like half of the efficiency of anything else on the market but bmz2 is supposed to be much better so um however it is the second generation that will be shipped to hive as well as peers grid argo blockchain and block formerly square later this year on february 28th grid said that intel's second generation mining machine bonanza miner 2 will be the second most efficient on the market with a hash rate of 135 terahash a second at an electricity efficiency of 26 joules per terahash. Vancouver, Canada-based Hive also signed a deal with Compute North to deploy 100 megawatts of miners at a Texas facility run by Renewable Energy. Boom, boom, boom. Crazy. So what are we seeing? The miners aren't stopping, are they? Well, at least the ASIC miners aren't stopping. The Bitcoin miners are not stopping. They're not slowing down. Can't stop, won't stop. This is good news as far as for the market. It's definitely like everybody's still bullish on not only cryptocurrency, but mining in general. And cutting these long-term deals definitely proves that. This is a very expensive deal as well. Does that translate over into the GPU mining market? And I think that is something to point out. Like we talked about last week, essentially we saw Hut 8 moving into like gaming in some form or fashion and cloud data, pro basically cloud gaming uh, to basically, I guess, hedge a bet in case, you know, the GPU mining goes away. And as we see more and more GPUs come onto the market and stay on shelves, there definitely seems to be, at least from the institutional money, a reduction in the increase of size of mining farms uh, for GPUs specifically. Now, the reason that makes more sense is like, to give you an idea, we have also basically for the home miners, it has to hit the shelves, but the home miners have to save up and buy them. Typically, if it's not even hitting the shelves, then you know the institutional investors for the GPU mining are investing. That's kind of the thought process. But caveat to that, as we mentioned last week as well, we're seeing the most amount of GPU production since Q2 of 2018 this quarter. So everything's looking good as far as production goes for GPUs, prices are coming down, and it may be a viable thing to take a look at. We're just going to have to see. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.